Prasad. Will you please come up and uh, give us a few uh, remarks? Minister Prasad. And I hear the, this is May, June rain in Guyana, so it's consistent with the weather there. Thank you very much, Congress. Uh, I think we still have Congressman uh, Meeks here. Oh, how are you? Uh, Councilwoman, Adrian, community leaders, friends, fellow Guyanese, fellow Guyanese, and also greetings to our uh, brothers and sisters from all the Caribbean communities, as well as persons um, representing the NYPD and others who want to join and help us here today in this momentous occasion. I bring you greetings from President Irfan Ali and the government of Guyana on this which we consider a very momentous occasion. It's momentous in many regards and we've heard about the significance of the co-naming of the Little Guyana Avenue one from the recognition of the work, the contribution of Guyanese who came decades, but also a recognition of the contribution they are continuing to make in different fields and different areas. Also, it is important, and as we heard uh, a few moments ago, that this co-naming comes just three days after our 55th independence anniversary. And we view this as a very important recognition of our country and of our people. And many of you would be aware that this co-naming too comes at a time when our country is moving in a very positive and a very significant way in bettering the conditions of all of our people. And this type of recognition here symbolizes and reflects what is taking place in our country where we are moving, where we are advancing in many regards. And I want the people here, community leaders and all, to be proud of this co-naming and to live up to the, what, what people expect of Guyana and to make Guyana and make Guyanese proud and to make your community, as it were, a better place. I also want to encourage you to, in, when you pass and you see Little Guyana Avenue, to think about Guyana. Think about what you can do. Think about how you can also participate in what's taking place in our country. And our, our government, we want to engage our diaspora in a much more significant way. And we see this recognition here as aiding and also as supporting our efforts in not only recognizing, but connecting Guyanese living here with Guyana. So every time you pass and you see that sign, think about Guyana and think of what else you can do for our country. I want to tell you that, you know, there are lots of things taking place in our country. We have a lot of plans to improve the livelihood of our country. But we would not be in a position here today were it not for the significant efforts that you made here in taking our country out of a very difficult period after we had the elections. And Guyanese here were very much in, very much in the forefront of advocating and ensuring that we had democracy of uh, those maintained. And Congressman Meeks was one of the champions of that. And I want you to give him a loud round of applause for the role he and his colleagues played in ensuring that democracy was preserved, as well as the role that you played in ensuring that democracy was preserved. Because without democracy, we would not be talking about the future, about the plans we have, about the transformation taking place, and the new economy that we're seeking to build, and also at the same time, trying to bring our people together. So brothers and sisters, I'm happy to join you here in this very momentous occasion. Again, we want to urge that you think more about Guyana as you pass and you see this little Guyana Avenue sign, but also to wave and to keep the golden arrowhead very much high and keep be proud of your heritage but also be proud that today that the people, the decision makers are recognizing you and are recognizing our community. Thank you very much and again I wish to thank our councilwoman for the role she played in ensuring Little Guyana Avenue uh, was named. Thank you very much.